Welcome to this quick tutorial on how to improve your old blogs in three easy steps. The main aspect of this is giving a new life to your old blogs, giving a little bit of content freshness. Now, why do we want to do that? Because Google has emphasized the importance of content freshness as a ranking factor since 2011. How are we going to do that? Well, in three easy steps, we're going to find a blog that doesn't have an FAQ section, create an FAQ section and an markup schema FAQ section. Don't worry if you don't know what that means. I'll explain in a second. And then we're going to resubmit it to Google Search Console so that our content gets indexed a lot quicker, aka found and crawled by Google a lot quicker. Why do I want to create an FAQ section in a markup schema FAQ? So we're on the same page. For those of you who don't know what a markup schema is, markup schema is a code that helps search engines understand your web content better leading to higher click-through rates and improved SEO. In particular, with an FAQ markup schema question, if you've ever done a Google search, uh, you will often see that people also ask questions. Now, the way, if you click down, you'll see that a website has answered that exact question and is here, linked here as well. You can imagine the amount of traffic that this website gets from being up. The reason that they got there to this rich results section, that's what it's called, is two things. They had an FAQ section in their blog answering that exact question and they had a markup schema section within that blog. So our goal here is to give ourselves the highest possibility to end up in that search results in that rich search results by adding new life to our blogs by adding an FAQ section markup schema. So first step is to identify a blog that doesn't have an FAQ section. This is one of mine. Uh, unlocking the power of keyword research. So a nice little blog, but you can see that at the end, hey, no FAQ section. Cool. This is the blog in the back end, and I'm gonna just uh, copy all the content from it. I'm gonna go to a trusty friend, ChatGPT. You're gonna ask it to create a five question FAQ section from this blog content. Why five questions? Because if you don't give ChatGPT, particularly 3.5, any parameters, it's gonna continue and do like 10 FAQs. You don't want that, you just want five. Cool, we let ChatGPT do its thing and it's giving us the five FAQ sections. Beautiful, uh, we'll just read it, make sure that it makes sense so that uh, we know that ChatGPT isn't hallucinating. Keyword research, yeah, cool. They're all about the blog, fantastic. Um, so the first thing would be go back to our blog and at the end, we're gonna add the newly created FAQ section. Make sure in your end that it's obviously formatted correctly. We're gonna put that in H2. And that's step one uh, done. The next thing that we're gonna do is create the markup schema FAQ section. Let me show you what that looks like in terms of code. So this is a prompt that contains an example of the markup schema for an FAQ section. And you can see that this prompt is quite long. And the reason why it's long is because I want to give ChatGPT a detailed instruction of what I want. I want it to understand the output that I want, and I'm even giving it examples of that exact exact output. So you are increasing your chances of getting the exact output that you want. So here is the exact prompt that you're gonna use. Don't worry, I'll put a link to this prompt in the description below. You, you're going to go to your FAQ section that you just created, and you're gonna copy that. And in that prompt, you're just gonna copy it right at the end. Cool. Now you've got the entirety of the blog in your Google Doc. Go back to ChatGPT, create a new chat just so it's nice and fresh, and paste the humongous prompt that you've got here. And you can see that it's gonna start writing you the code, which is perfect. Now, there are two things that you need to watch out for when it's creating this code for you. Is two, do these questions match the questions from the actual FAQ section? Sometimes it can grab the examples that you've given it instead of the actual questions. And three, and sorry, and two, does it have this end script? That's what you're looking for. Sometimes ChatGPT won't continue, won't complete the code. And if you don't see this finishing script right here, just uh, type or click continue writing. So now I've got my uh, FAQ markup schema. I go back to the back end of my blog and whether you're using, I'm using Webflow, that's why it's black, but whether you're using WordPress or Shopify or whatever, you'll have the option to inject a piece of code, custom code, HTML, whatever that might be. For me, it's this little button here. I'm gonna paste uh, that and save. Now, before we publish this, I wanna show you the differences between pre-FAQ section markup schema and post-FAQ section markup schema. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm gonna take this and go to 
I'm gonna take this and go to this page that's called Rich Result Test. This is a test by Google uh, and allows you to put your blog in and it tests, does it support rich results like the FAQ things that I showed you before. I'm gonna put my blog in here, test results. Now this is pre us publishing the FAQ section and you'll see here that it shouldn't be able to see any FAQ sections or doesn't support any rich result items and you can see that here no items detected okay that's fine it has been crawled though which is good so now we go back to our blog we've got our faq section in the front end which we'll see we've got the code of it which we won't see in the front end but it's good for google we're going to save it here and i'm going to publish right now our blog is published i'm going to go back to the rich results test and i'm going to do that test again so i can show you now you can see it's got one valid item detected and that's the FAQ structured data, job done, Bob's your uncle. So now we have the validated item. The FAQ section is identified correctly, Bob's your uncle. We have one final step and that's resubmitting this to Google Search Console so that it gets submitted a lot quicker. So we're gonna go to Google Search Console. If you don't have this installed and verified, go get Google Search Console, it's a free tool, it's great. But if you have it in the back end, grab the link for your blog that you've just updated, put it in the search bar at the top, hit enter. It's gonna retrieve the data from Google index. And we're gonna click this button here, go request indexing. Gonna give it a little while and that's just telling Google, hey, I know you're going to eventually crawl my site again, but can you just crawl this one a little bit quicker because I've made some changes to it. Perfect, and now, index requested and now we're done we have done the three things so we've created a blog for our faq section we created the markup schema for our faq section we submitted it to google search console so it's going to get indexed a lot quicker and google is going to identify those incredible changes you've made to your blogs a lot quicker if you do this to all the blogs that don't have currently an FAQ section, you will see an incredible refreshness and amount of fresh traffic to your website. I highly recommend this. And I recommend this because not only is it just good SEO standard, but also adding freshness to your content that already exists is a lot quicker and efficient strategy than always just creating new content. So if you are running out of ideas and you just can't think of any blogs to write or whatever it is, just go and fix your old blogs and it's just as good. Anyway, I hope this helps. I'm gonna be releasing a bunch of more videos like this, so follow along, subscribe, do all those things if you want some more SEO tips. Cheers.